In this episode, we'll give our character a purpose in his digital world. Because right now, our character can only move up, down, left and right, and there's not a lot of to do here. That's why I've decided to give him a goal, and that goal will be to collect coins that are spread out all over our map. And that way, by collecting the coins, player will be able to increase score. And for that, we'll need to have coins and we'll use something called signals. That way we'll be able to connect one script with another. But let's start with creating a coin scene. Here we've got level 1 scene and player scene. Click on the plus, click on other node, and as the root node, we'll use something called area 2D. In this area, we'll add another node. It will be animated sprite 2D, and we'll use the animated sprite 2D exactly the same way as we did in the previous episodes. Click on animation, sprite frames, new sprite frames. Click on it again, and we've got here the first animation that is called default. Let's leave the name and click on this grid icon. Our file should be in the asset, style map, and environment. Just as a reminder, our time map is split into tiles that are 16 by 16 pixels. So here in the size, type 16 and 16. Okay, just zoom in a bit. And here's our one coin. One frame should be enough. Only one frame will be enough for us because in the future episodes, I would like to create animation for this coin with something called twins. But more on that in the future. For now, let's leave it like that. Our area to denote still needs something called collider. And we also used it before. So collision shape 2D and shape in the inspector, we can use this time capsule shape 2D. Adjust it to the sprite of our coin. And don't forget to click Ctrl S to save our scene. We can call it coin. At this point, we can add this coin scene to level one, just to make our coin visible in the main game. So click here and coin scene. Our coin should be somewhere here. Let's change the name of area 2D with a coin. We can move it a bit closer to our character and let's add another coin. And when we run the game, we should see them. Here's the first one and the second. But when we try to interact with them, nothing is happening. And that's why we need to add the script to our coin scene and create logic to pick up the coin. We can close it and go to the coin scene. Here, let's attach the script to this area 2D node and create. Here we won't need those. So we can delete them and click on this area 2D. And when you have inspector on the right, you should change the tab to the node. In here, we've got the list of possible signals that we can use. And we'll need something called body entered. Let's add it here. God of prepared for us function on body entered. And this function will fire when the collision shape of other object will interact with our area 2D node. That's the main root of our coin. We don't need this pass. And as an initial check, we can type body that enter our area 2D node of our coin dot name equals player. So this condition will check if the body that has entered the area 2D will have a name player. So let's change the name of our character body 2D to be player. That way our logic will be scoped only to the player collider, which means that when our coin will collide with something else, it won't be true. And in here we can type self, which is the reference to the coin dot q3. That way the coin will disappear when we try to collect it. We can check if it works. And the coin disappeared. That's great, but we still need some logic to store the score of our player. For example, how many coins did the player collect? And for that we'll use something called custom signals. Those signals on the right are given to us by Godot, but we can create our own signals. And we can do that like that. Type signal coin touched. So this script will emit a signal that we can receive in another file. In our case, we'll receive this signal in player.gd. That self q 3 removes our node from existence, so we should always keep it as the last part. So right above it, let's type our signal, that's coin touched, dot emit. 
and in the image we can provide some value, but we don't need that. Let's save it. And when we click on our area 2D, we can see that there's a coin touched in the node tab and that's our custom signal. Let's switch to the level one scene and here to player.gd. Make sure to click the coin and click on our custom signal, coin touched. Make sure that it says player because that's the script that we want to connect it to and hit connect button. Right below we've got our function on coin, coin touched. And that's because we've named our node coin. It's fine. Instead of this pass, we can type print and here coin collected. That way in our console below we should see this exact text whenever we collect the coin. That way we can make sure if the signal is working properly. When we run the game and walk over the coin, we can see in the console coin collected. But there is a bug. When we collect the second coin, there is no text in the console. And that's because we've added it as a new scene. And to make it visible, let's delete the coin too, hit the 2D tab and we should copy and paste this exact node. Let's make more of them and place them nearby. We can save and see if something changed. We collect the first one, the second and third. We've got three times the same message, coin collected. And that's the result we wanted to achieve. And instead of print, we can do much more. Let's add a new variable. Here we'll type var score and let's make it zero. We'll still use this print, but let's improve it a bit. Make a colon and after a comma, score. That way we should see coin collected and score. We can add a space here and right above this print, we need to increase the score value. So type score plus equal one. In that way, we will increase the score simply by one with every iteration of this function. This is just the shorter version that we could type like that. Score equals score plus one. And that should give us the same result. But let's stick to the shorter version. And in the game, we collect the first coin. So coin collected one, two, and three. That's great. Our character has finally something to do in his world. And for that, we've created collectible items that can increase the player's score with custom signals. But it would be nice to give some UI elements that will be attached to the camera and will always display the current score of the player. Because I have to remind you that the player won't see the prints that we have in our console. So let's create the UI elements in the next episode. And I see you there.